Yeah, dude, I'm Steve-O, and you're watching Loudwire. Hey everyone, Graham from Loudwire here, and it's Wikipedia Fact or Fiction time with the legend himself, Steve-O. Thank you so much for being here, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. So, I went on your Wikipedia page today, uh -huh. jackass stuff, all that stuff. I uh, pulled a, out some stuff. It's a colorful page. It's uh, not super flattering and not all correct. Um, so, how many of these have you done? I've done over a hundred. Over a hundred. With a lot of people. Uh, are you aware of any instances where you actually brought about corrections? Oh my god, dude. Every, every single episode except for two. Okay. There has been uh, misinformation that people have cleared up, and once we post it, people go straight to the Wikipedia page and they clean that thing up. Oh my it's god, beautiful. I'm so excited about it. I'm <laughs> so excited about that. I actually had the idea to, uh, to like tweet, you know, like what the f***, you know, yeah. can somebody fix this for me? Yeah. Because right out of the gate, at the very top of my Wikipedia page, it says I've been married twice. I've never been married at all. It says on Wikipedia, because we always check, Stephen Gilchrist Glover, yeah. born in Wimbledon, England. I understand it was Wimbledon, yeah. You can okay. say London, England just as well, but I think that there's some overlap there. Gotcha, okay. They do get that wrong sometimes. Uh, it says that you did all four years of high school at the American School in London. Correct. All four years. So and to, to, to make a, you know unnecessary point, the... The high school I went to, and for all four years, was like the ultimate in privilege. Yeah? Literally 80% of my senior class went to Ivy League colleges. Oh, wow. I was considered a loser <laughs> for going to the University of Miami, which is a pretty good school yeah, as good well. School. And uh, I flunked the f*** out of the University of Miami, man. <laughs> and I got kicked out of the dorms. It was something spectacular the way I screwed up there. So it says on Wikipedia, when Jeff Tremaine recruited you for Jackass, you told him that the only thing that you were scared of was spiders. Not true at Not all. Not true at all. Okay. Not true at all. <laughs> but I don't think I've seen you do spider stuff. Uh, oh yeah, I, there's a YouTube video where I put a black widow in my mouth. <sighs> and uh, yeah, yeah, it was fun. Oh my god. Um, yeah, the kid showed up with a fairly sizable black widow spider in like a little petri dish. And he was like, I found this today and I brought it. I'm like, okay, cool. And I was like, oh. Was this at one of your comedy shows? Yeah, it was during a meet and greet after my comedy show. I oh. do have meet and greet after every one. Um, but yeah, there's a lot that's sort of uh, a little bit erroneous about that because A, I was never recruited by Jeff Tremaine. If anything, okay. I pursued him. Right. You know, like I was the, <laughs> the aggressor, <laughs> you know. Uh, if anything, Jeff Tremaine tried to avoid me <laughs> um, and I would not let that happen. And then... Um, yeah, as far as uh, I'm afraid of spiders, that's never been a, a thing for me. Uh, it says that videos of the stunts from when you worked as a flea market clown were submitted for Jackass, but none were cleared by MTV management. Okay, there's some problems with that okay. in that uh, <clears throat> the videos of the stunts were not from when I was a circus clown. The videos of the stunts were, uh, you know, from just everything in general. I, I dropped out of college and made this my mission in life. So yeah. starting in 1993, I was really uh, deliberately filming heavy stunts, trying to like, you know, make a name for myself as yeah. a stuntman. I didn't get into the circus, or I didn't work in the circus until year 2000. Okay. So there was seven years of me documenting stunts, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I continued to document stunts while I was in the circus, but the stunts were sort of a separate thing. Yeah. Of all of this body of work that I accumulated from 1993 to a year 2000, which was the year Jackass came out, it is true that uh, Jeff Tremaine, when the show got picked up, he said, send in all, all of your uh, footage that you have yeah. so that we can acquire certain bits and put it on the show because it was essentially a hodgepodge of random yeah. footage. And uh, when... Uh, when they reviewed all of the footage that I sent in, I, uh, they said, sadly, not one clip you sent us uh, was approved. And that led me to be concerned about, like, wait a second, like, what kind of a watered-down, you know, like, 
sort of a pussy show are we making? You know, yeah. I thought like, man, is this gonna be like lame? Right. But at the same time, I, I thought, ooh, I, here I've got all of this footage that they won't show, and this is gonna allow for me to have my own, uh, you know, DVD release. Yeah. You know, too hot for TV right. videos were, were quite uh, successful at that time. So I thought, oh wow, you know, this is going to be great. Uh, it says in 2003, you were arrested on charges of disorderly conduct for urinating on potato chips in public during Lollapalooza. Um, the, it, it did happen to be potato chips, mm. and um, I was head, the headliner of the second stage of the Lollapalooza tour with my uh, live stunt show. Yeah which I did at the time, and each stunt sort of focused on a different thing that uh, standards and practices of MTV had a problem with. Sure. So it was sort of a, two, you know, a, a live show comprised of things strictly that were not allowed on TV. Right. And um, after this uh, performance, I would do a meet and greet. Uh, if I recall, my someone who had a DVD, if you had a DVD of, of my own, a, a Steve-O Too Hot for TV DVD, uh, it was understood that that counted as a, a backstage pass. So I okay. would meet everybody who had a DVD, and then we would do the meet and greet at a, uh, what was called a For Your Entertainment tent. Okay, yeah. And they would sell the DVD. So it was like, hey, go buy a backstage <laughs> pass and then get in line. Nice. And so it was like this operation selling DVDs, for which I never received a penny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I remember doing a meet and greet in, I believe, Philadelphia, at Lollapalooza, and the line was considerably long to, uh, you know, for people waiting to, to get the DVD signed, to yeah. take photos, and I had to pee. So I, I didn't want to leave the, you know, I didn't want to bail on the meet and greet, so I just whipped it out and peed right there. It happened to be on potato <laughs> chips that I did pee. <laughs> But uh, but yes, yeah, so I was I was sort of nabbed, and I believe they had a like a police holding station right there, but it was more of a oh. catch and release. Oh okay. It was a catch and release situation, and I don't know that it ever ended up actually in a uh, a formal arrest. I don't know that that's really on gotcha. my record. I think that might only be on my Wikipedia and not on my criminal record. <laughs> okay, gotcha. But it's 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 true enough. It says that the reason for not making a fifth season of Wild Boys was because of the death of Steve Irwin. Oh God, no, I not don't think true. so. No, okay. what it was was that Wild Boys. Uh, Wild Boys followed Jackass the movie. Mm -hmm. And Jackass was not, uh, clearly a thing, and we embarked on Wild Boys to, you know, be something separate. Like, we had this love for uh, nature programming, and we were going to make it like this comedy nature show, and it, it really was something that was different. Uh, but over the course of the four seasons that we filmed of Wild Boys, it gradually just steered right, it just kind of evolved right back into Jackass. Gotcha. Okay. And we had Knoxville with us on the final trip, and he was just going nuts. Like, <laughs> he, we were filming with this like tactical, you know, anti-terrorist group, and he was like, you know, "Have the police dog attack me! Like, shoot me with a nine millimeter rubber bullet while the dog attacks me!" And like, he was just wow. going for it. And uh, Jeff Tremaine said that this was. Uh, you know, he says, if you still have that in you, let's not shoot this for TV, let's make a movie. Yeah. And so we just stopped doing Wild Boys uh, in favor of making Jackass number two. Um, and I, and I, like, I'm interested that the first arrest mention would have been 2003. I think there were many other arrests before that, but oh, right. this one I wasn't sure about because I'd never heard about Oh, okay, before. good. So you're <laughs> skipping past stuff you know is true. You're Pretty like, much. You're looking for the inconsistencies. It, exactly, okay. you know. Yeah, because I was going to say I've got a hell of more of a criminal record than that. It is widely documented. I've never <laughs> yeah. heard the potato chip. Thing. Right, okay, good. Uh, so let's move on to 2006. It said that you abruptly left the British reality show Love Island because you were not allowed the beer and chocolate which you had requested. Requested. There's uh, there's some truth to that, yeah. And okay. Love Island was a fairly wildly popular show in England. Yeah. Um, I was only meant to be on it as a, a temporary guest, and I want to say for like a few days. Okay. Uh, I was out of control and smuggled a bunch of drugs <laughs> to uh, Fiji, where they shot that. Oh man. 
And so I was just all pilled up and, and uh, you know, I, like I, I just was an alcoholic. And when they denied me uh, alcohol that I was promised, I did throw a f***ing fit. Mm. Did you leave because of no chocolate as well? No, the no chocolate piece was uh, for another cast member. Uh, oh, there, was okay. a, there was a woman on the cast who... Uh, um, was uh, who identified as an as a sober alcoholic. Okay. And uh, while everybody was d performing this, you know, challenge to be rewarded with beer, that I said, how are you gonna like give her? Uh, right. You know, like you're gonna like reward everybody with beer. She's a sober alcoholic. That's fucked up. She asked for chocolate. Give it to her. Yeah. And so I really went off sort of uh, to defend her honor. Yeah. And uh, and I wanted my beer. <laughs> It says after the Jackass 3D stunt involving a ram, uh, which you injured your hand, mm -hmm. uh, you expressed some concern about doing stunts in the future that mess with animals. I did. Yeah. I did, and uh, I felt that there was some kind of a karmic payback where uh, this ram, it was called the Ram Jam, and the idea was to be playing uh, you know, a, oh, a, a, a horn <laughs> instrument, yeah. so, which would occupy our hands. We'd be playing the horn, and the ram would ram into our nuts. <laughs> Um, but just instinct took over, you know, there's, you know, so like when the ram came, I would put my hand down yeah. and I couldn't like, it was weird, like I didn't want to, but it was just instinct and, yeah. and I kept blocking the ram and in doing that, I did damage to uh, a tendon, which, oh. which it took forever to heal and it, it seemed like a, a constant reminder, like any time I would shake somebody's hand, if somebody wanted to like impress me with a firm handshake, it was oh. like, ah, and it would aggravate the injury. Oh. So it just kept going on and on and on. And I thought, man, it's like exploiting animals, man. I got to not do that anymore. Uh, last one. It says on Wikipedia that you credit your rescue dogs with helping you maintain your sobriety. I credit them with contributing to it, sure. Um, it said that alcoholism and addiction in general is uh, driven mostly by selfishness and self-centeredness. You gotcha. know, it's a, a disease that's centered in the mind and selfishness and self-centeredness is at the root of all of our problems. So uh, to have rescued my first dog, it was a meaningful uh, exercise in, in dedicating myself to a priority which wasn't me. Yeah. So caring for, you know, caring about something other than me is uh, fundamentally helpful for recovery, yeah. Well, Steve, thank you so much for sitting yeah, down Yeah, dude, for sure, today. man. Appreciate what a, it. What a really cool uh, concept, man. I actually, when, when you told me about this, part of me got a little jealous, and I was like, man, I want to make that video myself. But, oh. uh, but uh, yeah, no, and, and, and if they can actually can clean up the page, uh, I love that. Please Absolutely. do. Help out your bud, Steve-O. Go see Steve-O on his killer comedy tour. It's coming to a city near you soon. Thanks so much, man. Yeah, dude. Right on.